Okay, guys, we're here with some mono blue merfolk. Lots of new cards that we get from the new Modern Horizon set. Maybe we'll make merfolk old Busteroo. We've got Se Sevulin, Se Sevulin, something, some way to pronounce that, but this card is incredibly good. Gets indestructible as long as you have two other merfolks. It's card advantage engine, it's a protection engine with a ward. It also um, has indestructible and you got multiple creatures, which. If you have Aether Vial out, you can kind of cheese or move spell of your opponent sometimes. Got Rishon and Dockhand. Um, you know, there's lots of different one jobs you can play in this deck, like Curse Catcher and others. And this one allows you to tap land, so it's good on your mana denial plan along Sprinting Seas. Same with Tide Shaper line to make islands. And uh, yeah, we also got some counter spells instead of Deprives in the sideboard. Let's get into it. Aether Vial on turn one. Let's go. Let's do it. No, not ward, but giving it indestructible does. Uh, we're going to slur this with the Dream Den. We're on double Waterlog Grove. I'm going to keep this in and lose with it. Unfortunate. Oh, for comp. Yes, I'm still, I'm still banned from filing for comp. Maybe I will email them about it soon. Let's see if they're willing to, you know, give me a little something. Just spreading seize your own land. It's not the worst idea, actually. It's not the worst idea, depending on what we're playing against. Any thoughts on Enchantress deck? I think that there's the possibility an Enchantress deck could be very good. But my guess is it's just whatever. Like it's uh, medium. Another medium deck amongst medium decks. Okay, let's see what Misha's bubble deck they are with the Solaris. They're on Prowess. This is, you know, a little bit hard. Oh, Watery Grave. Interesting. I think I'm just going to do this to play around a bunch of different things. Show them our Redry. Like, this plays around kind of like Fatal Push slash Stubborn Denial. I'm not quite sure what type of deck they are. Obviously, if they're like Mill, then I probably would have wanted to spread Spring Seas. Probably Death Shadow. I mean, it could be anything. Death Shadow. No, it's not Death Shadow. It is. Who the heck knows what they are, actually? But if they're playing this, this makes me think the Force Negation is almost surely going to be a good draw. Rogues. Could be Rogues. It's a possibility. Double Opt. Okay. Could be some Blue Lawyers Control deck. Yep, that's an option as well. Hmm. Esper? Um, okay. No idea what my opponent's doing at this point. Hmm. Kind of want to get this Aether Vial down, so I think I'm going to start with Spreading Seas here. There this Esper. Yeah, but like, what does that mean? Like, they just went with, like, Snapcaster Mage? Like, I, I just have no idea. My opponent could be playing a bunch of different stuff. I'm very scared that they have um, Snapcaster Mage here, so I'm just not going to attack. Because they thought a long time about that Spreading Seas. Seems like Snapcaster Mage makes sense. Cling to Dust. Not what I expected, but you know. Hmm. 
think I'm going to play this out. I think this is what I'm going to do. Yeah, I haven't played Merfolk, like, seriously in a long time. I love playing Merfolk. Wow, they got Island. That's crazy. Snapcaster Mage. My plate is... Oh, fetching for... That makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. I need to remember that this is legendary so I don't like mess up with it. The dream is I just get to like force negation them here. Oh, that would be so nice for me. They don't have any white mana. It's like really weird that they decided not to white mana. Hmm. Should have actually untapped the Muta Vault. There's potential that I needed to like activate it to give this indestructible along with this, and I would have taken one less damage. I think I'm just going to attack with both. If they block Snapcaster on here, I play I Violin Lord of Atlantis. And then I leave up my hardcast force negation. I think that's my game plan. I think that makes the most amount of sense. Extra damage matter here. It's four damage. Yeah, I think I'll do this. Hmm. You just want to use your channel points? That's true. That's true. I think I have to decide is like, will they have like another Mystic Gate type card to be able to verdict me and like kind of get me good type of thing. This is like super like control against Merfolk is always like super awkward for them because of like how they have to play and I get to play like with violent stuff. Hmm. Sure, I'll take four. That's fine. Actually, no, yeah, no, that's fine. Hmm. <sighs> 
Why is it so awkward for control? Because, like, I get to play with counter spells and vial. It's just really hard for them to, like, play exactly what they want. Like, they didn't really get to cast their spells very, like, efficiently anyway. I just, like, have a million cards in my hands. Like, what are they going to do? Got a feeling that counter spell is going to be very good here. Well, it could be fine as well. Spreading seas. How do I feel about spreading seas? Don't think it's that necessary here. No. It's fine ish, but I think I don't want them as much. I think I can cut a mirror retreat. I think I still want like the one drops and some of that. Sand looks great. I think it was bad because I never want to counter any of the spells. That's like someone. I mean, also their counter spells are like really weak because you can play like cavern. I wonder how how many cavern. I think I'm playing three cavern souls. Like yeah, like cavern souls is also a really rough card for them to beat. on there in Japanese. It just, uh, auto-played. I kind of need to, like, get a new playlist. My mind makes is getting a little bit too, um, homogenized. I just play the same songs over and over again. Why did I do that? Why did I play this out when I have violent one? I mean, I understand what my like idea behind it was, but I think it was a bad idea. So now they kind of just got to do this and fatal push here. Kind of sucks for me. The thing is, I was thinking that like, what three drop do they play that I care about that I would need to counter spell? Like Archimedes Charm, my eighth of all, that would have been a disaster. I think now I'm just gonna be leaving up like Counterspell and playing out my fish slowly. Hmm. Like, my opponent's just not doing anything. And, like, their counter spells just aren't going to really do anything time soon. I just, like, okay, play 2-1, make it so you have to, like, 2-for-1 yourself on this. Fortunately, you can't take this vial up to 3. The like, counter spell's not bad. Mm-hmm. I like, kind of just want to always vial on their end step if possible, unless I'm, like, killing them. Hmm. Alright, yep, yeah, no, fast turn. I'll slowly chip away at you. Like, you play a perfect just, like, slowly chip away. Joy target creature. Hmm. 
Sure. I'll just let that go. <laughs> it's not a bad one to draw. They're obviously shown on like some amount of um they're like on some amount of sorcery speed removal spells that are gonna be like kind of awkward for them to cast. Bubble, sure. What you gonna do now, opponent? What you gonna do now for me? Appreciate it. Hmm. Hmm. Let's activate your bolt. Think uh, that I probably have this game at this point. Street plays. Mystical Speed plays. Taking seven. Yep, they needed to have the snap missile the speed fatal push there to not die. Hmm. Well, there are two. We've got Mutavolta out. Let me play this next turn as well. you got for me what's the play I don't see how they can win yeah it's gonna be pretty hard I play four move spells and it's just like nah, I, just, I just have more creatures plants wrath plus push yeah I mean technically that is possible it's unlikely that's sack plus life um that doesn't work because I just activate the beta vault plays badly against cryptic command plays better against other stuff it looks like they've got the cryptic to punish me yeah. I was thinking like 
This is bad against Cryptic, but it's better against literally everything else. I think this into play may have just been really bad as well. Sunny day. <laughs> okay. They've seen enough. <sighs> They've seen enough. once again oh yes I mean we did play against Esper pile so you know what are, you, what are they gonna do right someone up above hmm. Hmm. I'll be something you love and understand Kind of mad and do this only son if you can. Uh. Okay, let's see if we can find an opponent. I forgot to refill my water bottle. I have definitely not been drinking enough water recently. I gotta be drinking more because I've realized I've been like really thirsty. What? Do this, oh baby. If you try, uh, uh. what for you, my son? To satisfy. Uh, uh. Mm -hmm. Angel Lufa. Keep this in. I know Lufa. A known both Salter and Lantern, con Lantern Control player, so. Maybe we'll get to see both of those things. Do this. Your son. If you can't. Hmm. Go to the water for this match, though. Just counter spells, I guess. Mm. Oh, punished. Punished for going for the Mutavolt line rather than for the Island line, it looks like. Well, okay. They got me with that one. Sure did get me with that one. Got me with the the random pit of needle there. Now I play island this turn. Now I play island the other turn. That's a good question. I should have done that. That was just a mistake. Double thought sees, yep. Yeah. That was just a mistake, almost surely. Well, we'll see if they've got the bridge to get me. Yep. Uh, do I have any outs to this? Nope. I can concede. Love and understand. It is unfortunate because my opponent's deck is one of the decks that I really, really hated playing against, and I was very glad that it was gone for a long time. 
It's ungodly boring to play against and just like not fun at all. Like most prison decks in in uh, basically any format are usually incredibly unfun to play against. <laughs> I'll keep the sound. They get rid of Warlock Grove. When the first game, no, they played in Strange Bridge and the game was over. to meet you. Guess my name. Yeah, we're probably just dead this next turn, but maybe they just have like lands in hand or something. Nope. Just, just dead. Staring Bridge is a very fun Magic the Gathering card. We just no outs to it. Just well, I mean, what are you gonna do? Opponent has discard into a staring bridge. And we'll make it so you can never draw a good card ever again. That's two troubadours. Of the coast, Andrew B. I'll keep my hand. Let's see how degenerate Mr. Andrew B is assigned to be. Hmm. How's it going, Will? Well, I guess I lose. Guess I was on the draw. Unfortunate. Game's literally over. No reason to continue to play. Literally a waste of time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, learn politics. Yes. Sell to waste. Mm-hmm. Pleased to meet you. Oh, guess my name. Six nights back, they might still win. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, it's literally there. There is no reason to continue playing that game. The game was over already. Yeah. One monkey. What's <laughs> my name? <sighs> okay. to lose the game on turn two again. <sighs> See Vapor Snack or something. Not gonna block, game's not over, poggers. <laughs> I probably should have just played this guy. It doesn't actually die to bolt. I don't know what I was thinking. Interesting draw. Alright. Well, they didn't do anything game two, so I guess I've got that going for me. Hmm. Kinda want these Harbinger of the Tides in my deck as well. this. Hmm. I'll keep this hand try and just be on like the mana denial game plan I guess. Just have to play out stuff because they had Ragnarok on turn one every single game. It's pretty funny that they just have their best card on turn one. Uh, you just start casting it. And not to cast it. Guessing they have some sort of counter spell here. Hmm. 
<laughs> okay, we're not dead anymore, I thank God. <sighs> well, Ragman got them like infinite value because of the treasures. Dump me four damage. Gonna get in the school speed. Nope, no. Hmm. Maybe I'll be able to do something here. This feels really bad, but I think I have to pay for it. Since they have like double mana leak bolt that I wasn't running anyways, it doesn't really matter. Alright, they just have it. Oh, yeah. yeah, whatever. We were dead no matter what. Yeah. I mean, they just had double bolt in hand. I guess, like, we could have not tapped this, but... I don't know. Like, obviously the mana leak was something. Like, maybe I'm just not supposed to tap this, play this out, and, like, take the bolt, and then, like... Problem with that is if they have literally anything else, we're, like, super screwed. Maybe I'm not supposed to concede to the turn one Ragavan, but... I'm a little bit, a little bit tilted from the last match, and, like... Fucking... I'm having the turn one Ragaman every single game got me really, really good. Because I think I would have... That matchup should theoretically just, like, be stomped by us, but... Ragaman made it so they had a mana advantage every single turn, and then I had to spend four life in a card after they already had two cards worth of mana advantage, and then just, like, got to have threat plus double bolt. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. We just got some from four attacking. I mean, I guess we could have not attacked, but the thing is, then we're just chumping, and like, what does that accomplish? Like, we just if, if we're chumping that turn, then we just have to chump like every single turn forward with that card. And I think if we're already gonna have to chump with our Merfolk anyways, almost assuredly. Then um, I'd rather jump with my 2 1 than my 3 4. Especially my 3 4 that gains us card advantage. Okay. This is the worst matchup in modern for us, unfortunately. So, I've got a good feeling we're going to lose. <laughs> this. I think this is the worst, the worst matchup for us in modern. <laughs> Rogue doesn't have good mashups. Uh, you are completely wrong. <laughs> Hmm. 
Opponent said BRB, I'm sorry, so we'll see when they come back. <laughs> I'll be right back, I can go refill my water bottle while we have a little bit of downtime. Hmm. This one match, at least. <laughs> Where it's an answer everything. That is just not true. It's nothing quite like having people come into a chat, say, your deck's bad, bro, and then uh, that's all they say. I'm just like, okay, cool. You're a very cool person. I hope, I bet you have lots of friends. I bet you have lots of family members that enjoy your company, and they just say, yes. I like it when that person just says, you're dumb, or you're bad, really great constructive criticism in which everyone gets to have a lot of fun and experience a great time. And then the person who probably thinks this, they're like, okay, I got to him, guys. I'm going to spam Keck W right afterwards because they're all the same. It's like carbon copies. Everyone's a carbon copy and they all think the same and they always say, okay, get streamer slightly upset, then say Keck W. <laughs> uh. <laughs> See, there you go, there's a... <laughs> uh. No, they said that they needed to, that they'll be coming right back. Don't be mad, because I'm doing me better than you do when you... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's <sighs> okay, they're back. Okay. Mandel's no go. We're dead. Most certainly here. In my life. Holding on. I like how they left and came back to me being dead. To and fro. Mm hmm. 
No, one more show. In, in the night, tell them I'm not afraid of them. Afraid of them. I won't go. <laughs> Cause your dick shit. If she's too loud, really is. Yep. <clears throat> I'm gonna say base. You gotta do it like I think this is that, or is it based? There we go. I shouldn't. And then we cast it once, blocked a Ragavan, cast it again, died the next turn. So, you know, no thoughts on if it's better or worse than the other ones, Rob. <laughs> no consequences. No defenses. I'm getting card all the time. Oh. <laughs> Uncle Estevan's the best card. Uncle Estevan's a classic. Mm -hmm. Um, I'll keep this in. Bombs over Baghdad. Bombs over Baghdad. <laughs> um, yeah. Like to use my ether bottle, please. Thank you. Um, let's turn that into an island. Yavamaya cradle immediately. Unfortunate. <laughs> Bombs over back. Okay, this is okay. They found a much better line. Bombs over back, Dad. Okay, it'll be a bit difficult for us. Just have to hope that they don't have any, I guess they have this, which is kind of a problem. Mm. Plus two, plus two, so be two, so be four, eight, twelve. Mm. So it'll be three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus eight. Draw another on walk forward. I can have lethal here. I may actually have to bluff now because of that other lord. Well, okay, yeah, we're just dead. All right. They had the nuts. Two games in a row. What can you do? Like this is insanely nutty by them. Bad matchup, and they've got the goods. 
I want to play this again because I feel like this was not an accurate representation of how the deck can do. Hmm. Can get through to me. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> whoa, whoa. I forgot where I came from. Mm hmm. So I get my money right. Mm hmm. Tell me nothing right. I can keep this hand. <sighs> so, hmm. Hmm. I think Legacy Merfolk would be able to consistently beat Modern Tron. Probably, uh, because they have Wasteland. I would hope that the Wasteland deck would get them. One second. This. I just don't really feel like dealing with that right now, so. Let that stand, Sergeant Snuggles. <laughs> don't really feel like dealing with it right now, to be honest. <laughs> Off of fumes, cuz took my springs. I was supposed to force negation pitching one of these, but I don't think so. Oh, I got no trick. Life is up, uh, well, depending on how you dress up. Uh. Stomping around, okay. <laughs> Try hard. Die hard. <laughs> Tarmo Glyph. Okay. Um, I think I have to be doing this, which sucks. I'm sorry, I only had, oh, no problem, there's a Mind Slaver. No problem. I just saw that message right now. <sighs> Maybe I was supposed to play out Aether Bile, I don't know. I was supposed to play the Aether Bile, because of my hand. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. that just becomes sad. I think I'm just gonna make it so they don't have any mana that is not an island. I'm gonna play Spreading Seas here instead of the other one because uh, I, if I draw a land, I want to be able to play my Vile. Draw a land, which is not the end of the world. Hmm. There it goes. The deck literally can't be a single Saga. <laughs> That's kind of true because the Saga is basically just a three for one against them. Mm 
<laughs> Both of these is kind of hurting me a bit. <laughs> <laughs> so that we never knew. Hmm. Hmm. There's swamp. We're gonna kill this. And then we're one. <laughs> I'll take the hit. Script chest, I love. <laughs> That's a problem. That is a problem. Scourge of the Sky Clay is definitely a problem. Need to draw like Lord Atlantis here. That's a pretty good one, I would say. That's a pretty good one. I would say that's an above average one. No, no script. I'm pretty good at this game. <laughs> How does Scourge of the Sky Clays read? Does a Merfolk... Yeah, a Merfolk Trickster just straight kills it, right? So far, this card has been pretty busto. This card also very good. So, so far, two cards very good. Make me pretty excited to play this deck. It's also just like a 3 4 for 3, which is just like pretty, pretty chunky. Simple trickster. Hmm. I'll keep this in. Not great by any means, but fine. Trying to holla at me. Mm -hmm. Thought sees me, eh? Uh. Mm-hmm. 
Hmm. And then gave me breakfast. So you come from a land down under. Oh, and then thunder. You better run. You better take cover. Do I like Vegemite? I've never had Vegemite, you know. Okay, we're uh we're doing that, I guess. You don't give a you don't give a hoot. Give a hoot. Four and full of muscles. Mm -hmm. That was a uh, aggressive play. Down under. Mm -hmm. Let her run. You better take cover. It's a uh, very interesting place from the opponent so far. Why wouldn't you surgically in square foot? I remember. I you don't know how many times I had to explain to people to not bring in surgical extraction against certain decks. And then Bombay, draw and not much to say. I came from the land of plenty. From a land down under. Oh yeah. Mint snow and mint thunder. Gee, can't you hear the thunder? You better run. You take a Every Never dick nowadays. It's glad to see the classic. Fail summer, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Probably gonna fail push here, unfortunately. The shell. Something. And I went down under. Wind in the wind in thunder. And run. Take cover. I guess my punch is like dead. Thunder. Can't you hear? Can't you hear the thunder? I guess I should have taken just the safe lines we could lose to like dismember now, I think. But you know, screw it. They don't have it. Never did, never will. Who needs to take a conservative line? You can just kill your opponents, am I right, guys? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Well, if you're watching this on YouTube. Even though we had some disastrous games, you know, I hope you still like the video. You can like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitch and Twitter in the description below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.